and I can see this being very expensive. So if you don't know who I am, my name's Richard, I live inside this VW Crafter van while I'm converting it into a camper van. Today we've got quite a few odds and sods to do to the van. Just loads of little bits and bobs that we need to finish off and touch up before we actually move over to the next big project which I'm quite excited about. There is a lot of stuff to do inside this van so we decided we'd park inside B&Q's car park out the way of absolutely everybody uh, just to get some work done today. I'm going to end up buying crap that I don't need aren't I? Ugh. There's an Asda nearby though so I'm going to go get me lunch and then come back and nip into there, buy some bits then start some work. <laughs> I dropped me lunch there. Um, should really make a list of what I need out of b &Q, but I'm not gonna. Let's see how much money I can spend. Ugh. I wonder if they've got like X display kitchen units. Oh, ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Here goes nothing. Oh god. <laughs> oh, shall I paint it? No, 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 no. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, look. Oh, I did as expected. See that just there? I got a load of wood battens. Now I'm miles off framing out the overhead storage and bits like that, but it was cheap. Time for some lunch. We are trying to be healthy because we eat an absolute ton of sugar and fat and grease and everything horrible at work. To be fair, this ain't much better. Barbecue chicken and bacon putty. We have got a bag of skips because it says only 99 calories a bag online. I don't think they mean a big bag like that, but still, it's a bag. I want a bit of energy because I'm a bit. Oh, I've not had sugar for two days and I'm like, oh. so I've got a zero sugar energy drink. That'll give me a kick. And then, this is the healthy bit. We've got some juicy pineapple chunks. And I don't know why I'm telling you my diet. Right. No more procrastination, we need to get stuff sorted. First of all, do you know the cover that goes over the windscreen when I'm parked up at night? I need to try and fit this, this, in this. That folds there, that folds there. Don't worry, the content will get more exciting than this. Anyone got a rubber band where I can wrap around it and just sort of uh, screw it into the place? Screw it? Is that a word? I need some more storage. Drone. I've got everything moved from this side to this side uh, solely because I've got to get the boarding underneath the garage area. I've not even opened the energy drink yet. Jesus. Most people have like a rubbish bag or a bin bag. I've got a rubbish box. You join me under the bed. <laughs> yeah, that sounded demonic. So I've got the panel but for this side and I've got to line it all up and then basically draw a line around all the different brackets and all the different things on the bed so that I can easily fit it in. Something I didn't even think about was even the wheel arch itself has to be trimmed around to fit over all the thermal liner that I've put on. It's just started to rain outside, so I'm gonna try and cut the wood inside the van. This might end really bad. Plug the saw into the EcoFlow. Let's see what battery I've got left on that. 66%. Let's go. <laughs> Number one's done. That's all done. We've just got to take it back off, give it a sand block over all the edges, just to sort of clean up the edges a little bit. Then get some metal screws and screw it back in. With that side done, it's now time to move over to the other side. With the other side done, that's the garage virtually completed now. All we've got to do is basically put the fascia across the front, all the way across. We've got some fancy bits, which involves this door here. That's not yet though, we've got to clean up first because there's a lot of sawdust down there. These are the blinds we're going to use. They're from Ikea, they're that name, and they're complete blackout. The idea was to put them up inside there so they're completely hidden from everything. They'll be down the sides of there, they're all measured to be perfectly the right size that we need, and they'll go down there and secure in with magnets or something along those lines. However, we don't know exactly how they secure to the top. If they just screw straight up, that's the easy option. We could put a plinth of wood behind the back of it and just screw straight into it. If they're on like an owl bracket and we have to screw them there backwards, that's where it gets complicated. There's absolutely no instructions online and there's no details on the box. Let's open them up and find out, shall we? I swear they've put childproof locks on these. No adult can get into childproof locks. There you go, you can see what they are now. They're just like a fan effect just like that, they black out all the light. By the looks of the bracket, they are an L-shaped bracket, but you can fasten them from the top or from the back. I think that might have just uh, 
made our life a little bit simpler. Some more rubbish for a la cardboard box. You go in there. Just double check the measurements with the window. I'm hoping it sits just inside like that. Oh yeah, baby. God, I'm good at measuring. Normally men are bad at measuring. So here's an update, because we've just been working away. As you work away, they didn't really work going up solely because the gap between the board and the window was just too narrow for the length of the bracket so it's hitting the glass we didn't like that but we've come up with this option we're going to put them on the outside the overhead storage is going to be above these so it's not going to be interfering it too much we're going to box it all in make a nice little framework going all the way around and tile it like a bit of a splashback sort of thing we're going to put a window ledge inside which is what we're doing right now let's give it a go i've built the window ledge i've done a thing again <laughs> Right, so, like I say, put it on the outside. It clips in that one and then that one, then pushes and clicks in the back. I'm not sure if that's gonna actually handle the bumps and bumps of a normal road. I might see if I can get a couple more of those brackets and stick a few in the middle. But, completely blackout. Now, obviously, we're gonna box it all in. It's gonna look nice. There's gonna be a runner down the side to keep this piece towards the back so it does black out quite nicely. And I can always jiggle it to the side if I need to. So there's a little piece of light coming in just there. So there we go. I did a thing. Let's just see if it actually works over speed bumps and stuff like that. I'm not trying that now. I'm not brave enough for that. I've just had a thought. I wonder if B&Q has some fancy lock mechanism thing so that I could put that chest of drawers inside the van now and just get it out the garage. I can box the garage off then and just, yeah, get that sorted. I shouldn't be allowed to go shopping on my own. I'm 20 litres of paint, screen wash, the brushes to put the paint on, and I picked up these like magnetic strip things. I'm hoping to put the block on sort of like there on the inside, the magnetic strip there, so when it closes, it does hold and do a couple, but they are whoosh, sloth clothes. So it's just at sunrise. Well, it's a cloudy day, so it's not really sunrise. I woke up on the next day and I'm just not happy with the blinds. I want to try and get them inside that recess. So while you enjoy a time lapse of the location that I'm at, I'm going to take all this apart again. So that's exactly what we did. We took it all apart while having a think. <clears throat> so I've come up with the idea. There's the blinds and I've took some little caps off the end. And you can see you've got like a rail. See just there? Where it lips in just there. I've got my top piece of wood, put some screws in like that. So that can catch the rail just like that. There's the rail. There's the screws holding the rail. And there it is. So basically now I can get this whole unit, slide it up inside there and screw it so it's right the way up here sort of place so it's completely hidden from view goes to show if you're not completely happy with what you've done it's okay to strip it out and start again because this is going to look amazing this is going to be exactly what i wanted when i've got this back in i can't believe it actually works i've got it recessed up there perfectly fine and i've got my little toggle just here now i've got it again i've got to box all the framework in down there and down there because that's going to be a window ledge down there but all i do is and then push down the last bit and boof, completely blind. <laughs> I'm chuffed. I'm very good today. I had to take it all apart and then do it all back up again. But I'm wild chuffed with it. I'm wild chuffed with it. But I could do with like a little cuts out in the ply at the bottom or something to put my hand in to be able to get the blind to pick it back up. Because at the minute, I have to push it, jiggle it and then push it up just like that. But that's how it sits when it's all up. It's gonna rattle around a, a bit until I can get some magnets on it. And do you know when I pulled it all the way down, I can magnet shut. Let's get this side sorted. Now what I've already done is got the other blind and put the already piece of wood on there. It's just a case now of shutting the door and getting it screwed up. Boom, it's done. You can see it just tipped up there. It's a bit dark, we're inside, but let's see how dark it is when we fully close all the blinds. So there's that one done. And then we come over to this side. We've already got the blind on the front of the van solely because we were in the van last night, parked up. And then that one's done. And this is pure daylight and you can just about see there's the wide angle lens that light you can see at the front that's for the internal locks and stuff what you could just see a tiny bit of light coming through them nothing special so i'd say they're pretty blackout <laughs> i've just been sat working away and i heard some rushing water like proper rushing water like waterfall sort of thing i'm like crap what's going on proper worried me turns out it's just the tides turned and with that it was time to shoot to work i'm on my dinner break in work so i thought i'd come in see these sticky residues i've got that there just a bit from like tape going around check this out the dodo mat prep spray get the lid off get a rag 
give it a shake and this is all in real time not edited but just a little bit sprayed onto that little piece just there and then grab the towel and it just looks see it's just coming off really nicely crystal clean i think we're now at the point where we can one start painting the walls just to give it a base coat and protect it number two the electrical we've got a victron dc to dc charger to go in we've got the max air fan to go in we've got a full diesel heater to go in it's a big job for everything to go in but not all the electrics will be going in at once obviously we need usbs we need lights we need stuff like that we need a headliner to get the lights in but we need the max air fan to get the headlining up we need usb ports to be put into furniture and stuff like that the furniture needs to be put in so basically we're coming along really really quickly and it's going to look more like a camper van within the next week or so thanks for tuning in guys if you're new around here subscribe